And we are live! Hello everybody! And welcome to a special live stream from Hot Thai Kitchen. I'm so excited. This is such a special video and thank you everyone for joining. Um, so we're gonna wait a little bit, a few, just a few minutes so more people can have time to join us. But um, just a recap. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, what, where I am at is actually a very special place. This is the residence of the Consul General of Thailand in Vancouver. Now the reason why we're here is because there is a very talented chef who is the resident chef here and he is going to be doing something that I could not show you on my show. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing in an expert. He's doing a show, uh, a demo for fruit carving and also a couple of royal Thai dishes. And what I mean by royal Thai dishes is dishes that are really sort of time consuming and ornate and, and you know, like the sorts of things that's very tedious. The sorts of things I don't have time to do anymore as a mom, but thankfully there's somebody who specialized in that. I see a lot of people are now joining us. Thank you, thank you from Singapore. Hi, so glad to see everyone here. So Adam is here with us. You can see the back of his head right there. <laughs> He's going to be um, looking at the, the live chat and questions. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can turn off the live, turn off chat because live chat, all messages are visible. Okay, I guess I can see you're live, but I'm trying to actually figure out how to turn it off so that I don't get um, distracted. But I guess I don't have that option. That's okay. <laughs> we will do this anyway. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We've got almost 300 people here right now. And let me introduce you to the chef. All right. Here we go. Let me just show you this place. It is so beautiful. Such a beautiful place. And here we are. We've got Chef Natawat, the star of the day. And for once, it is not me. Sawadika. Sawadika. This is Chef Natawat, also Chef Fam. And um, let me just tell you briefly about Chef Fam. He um, is professionally trained as a Thai chef and has been cooking for three years now professionally. But he's got lots of experience in competing and has actually won cooking competitions. And he specializes in some fruit and vegetable carving. Look at that. This is just an example of what we're gonna, of what he's gonna show us today. Do you wanna say hello to everyone? So at the can. Yeah, definitely. So um, we are pretty much ready to go. Yes, all right thank you so he said that he's not the best at doing this but he's going to try his best to share what he does know to all of us and what i like about today as well is you're going to show us simple things that people can do at home as well so it's not just like for interest this is something you could actually uh use okay, okay. so what are we going to start with Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. Yes. Wow. Okay, so we're going to use the carrot as a demo piece. Yes. Right? Yes. So this tool, okay. Okay, so this is a special carving tool. Did you get that from Thailand? Yes, I get it from okay. Thailand. But, but I, I can buy them like a... Asian store. Oh, okay. Asian stores here? Yes. Oh, wow. Good to know. Okay. So we're going to do like a semi-circle. Okay. So we have to, to sort of really pay attention to the first stroke and the second stroke and make sure they work together well. That seems incredibly sharp. So he's just carving a ครั้งแรกครั้งที่สองเนี่ยนะฮะทําให้มันเป็นร่องโดยที่มีดเนี่ยไม่ได้ตัดเยอะเกินคือจําไว้ว่าครั้งแรกที่อยู่ลงมี
ครั้งที่สองเหมือนกันแบบนี้ครับอ่าโอเคปุ๊บโอเคก็คือต้องระวังถ้าเกิดว่าตัดไปแรงเนี่ยปุ๊บลงไปเยอะเกิน Oh I see gonna that's what happened like you're gonna lose the whole thing Chai. so it's really so this is gonna take a lot of practice because you have to know how hard how far how deep to go Chai. so that you don't dig out the entire piece and it's one of those things too where um, sorry I'm using a gimbal here it takes a while where If you screw if you screw it up, there's no going back. Yes. Like it's done, it's yes. over. It's over. <laughs> you have to start on a new piece. <laughs> oh, you can glue it back together. Yes. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> right, right, right. If you're gonna glue it back together, then you cannot eat it. So okay, okay. Okay. ต่อไปเมื่อกี้เรามีวงกลมแล้วใช่ไหมคะแล้วก็จะมีลายที่เป็นสี่เหลี่ยมซึ่งสี่เหลี่ยมแบบของใบไม้ Okay, so now we're gonna do sort of like a leaf shape. Okay. อันดับแรกนะครับก็คืออย่างนี้ก่อนลงมาเหมือนกันอ่าฮะเป็นรูปแบบนี้ฮะสามเหลี่ยมนี้ Okay, so we're doing a triangle. And then เหมือนเดิมคะซอร่องเหมือนเดิมให้พอดีดึงออก Oh, you know okay, okay. Make a different shape. Yes. So now we've got a, a triangle as opposed to a circle. อยากให้สวยขึ้นใช่ไหมคะอันนี้คือพื้นฐานอยากให้สวยขึ้นนะครับเราจะทําร่องก่อนครั้งแรก Okay, so this is a little bit more advanced if you want it to be a little more ornate. นะฮะแล้วก็จากเมื่อกี้เราลากตรงๆใช่ไหมครับเราก็จะมีการเคิร์ฟเพื่อให้ใบมันมีความพลิ้วไหวยิ่งขึ้น Okay, so we're getting sort of a little bit of a movement. The appearance of movement. Oh, I see. I see. So you're getting a curved. Oh, I see. Got it. Got it. Okay. And then we're going to make a little bit of movement. Okay. 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 Can... But there's more curvature, and it's going to be a little more realistic and natural. Got it. Yes. Okay. 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 So he's gonna combine those two patterns, the the circle and the triangle, into a cantaloupe. Yes. Okay. ันดับแรกเลยบางคนถ้าโปรเฟชชั่นอลแล้วเขาก็สามารถล่างได้แต่ว่าเชฟขออนุญาตใช้ปากกานะครับ Okay, so you're gonna start by actually drafting it with a pen. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna use that as a as a trace. Okay. เราจะเริ่มละ So he was saying that the really experienced people they can just go freestyle, but if you're not experienced, it's good to draw something, so you have something to to base off of. Mid line, นะครับตรงตรงเลยนะลงไปตรงตรงนี้ So right straight through. แล้วก็ความลึกของมีดเนี่ยต้องเท่ากันทั้งลูก So it's important that your knife cut is deep. The depth of your knife cut is even all around. ตั้งตรงเลยนะคะอย่าอย่าเอียงซ้ายเอียงขวา so we're going straight up and down ครบแล้ววงกลมพอเสร็จแล้วมีดที่สองอย่าลืมว่าต้องจินตนาการว่าเมื่อกี้เชฟเอาลงไปประมาณนี้นะฮะเราก็จะเฉียง45องศานะคะ yes ไปกับอันแรกที่เรา so now he's going 45 degree under that original cut Okay, so the first cut was straight down. The second cut is about 45 degrees. Uh, you can use the new nang. You can use your ring finger to sort of guide, stabilize your hand, and um, and so okay, so you're gonna remove that ring that you've just cut. Oh wow, that seems so easy, but like you know what's gonna happen when you do it the first time. หลายคนอาจจะมีปัญหาเนี่ยว่าบางทีถ้าลงมีดไม่ไม่ได้เนี่ยอย่าไปดันทุลังแงนะฮะอย่าใช้มีดอย่างนี้เดี๋ยวมีดจะหักโอ้โอเค so he's saying don't try to force it with the pick things off with the knife because you could break the blade because that blade is so thin and delicate so if things are not coming off that means cut it again that means you didn't cut it through so don't try to pry things open 
slightly ค่ะน้องๆเขาเบาๆอย่างเงี้ยแล้วก็ทิมเห็นไหม Oh there you go got it that seems easy หลังจากนั้นเราจะเอาลายที่เราพักเยะลายวงกลมมาใส่ตรงนี้อ่ะ Okay so we're gonna start with that circular pattern that he showed us earlier ให้ดูสักสามกีบแล้วกันนะ around the side สองสามแบบนี้ Okay เสร็จแล้วก็เสาะล่องอย่าระวังมากๆเลยอย่าให้มีดอ่ะไปโดนกลีบทั้งหมดเดี๋ยวกลีบมันจะหลุด Okay so what you have to be really careful here is make sure your knife doesn't hit your original petals that you created Oh there you go you see that Wow so thin and delicate so you really have to have good control of your hands so as to not Slice off those petals that you created. Long, 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 long. Ah, just not. Yeah. Okay. So he's saying if you're first doing it, it can be a little thick. It's okay. Because I'm going to do the slab and the slab. So the next one, you're going to go in between. There we go. Like this. 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 Like You know, five little petals, and then if you keep going, it turns into something really fantastic. How long did this take you? It's like a fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? Yes. Oh my God! I thought you were gonna say like an hour. It would take it would take me an hour. Ah, when I do this, I'll do it. Okay. This is the line of the line. We're going to do the line. Okay. The line that goes up is the line that is the triangle. Okay. So now we're gonna start with the triangle pattern that he showed us earlier as well. Okay. okay, so we dig a little bit of a a curve, and then we carve out a triangle. Oh, hello from Bangkok. You're staying up late watching us. Thank you. Now we are okay. Got it. And what's great about cantaloupe is there's a gradient of color. It's green on the outside. And orange on the inside. So when you do this, it's really, really beautiful. Watermelons are really good one too because of the color. Yeah. Okay. So we dig a triangle. Okay. So the tip has to reach the skin, so that you get that nice dark color at the edge, and then you dig out from underneath. Man, you make it so easy, and I'm looking at that going, "Oh yeah, that's not hard." But we all know what's going to happen when I do it. <laughs> How long did it take you before you started to get good at it? Um, like uh, it depends you practice. Uh huh. If you give more practicing, you will get uh, faster mm -hmm. to uh, understand mm -hmm. how to carve mm -hmm. at first edge and second edge like that. Like wow! It's, I would say like um, um, two weeks. Two weeks? Yes. Because it's, uh, I take the lesson from the Lusitani College when right. I when I when I uh, studying at. So you repeat. So it's a lot of repetitive work, but you've got to know. Where that repetitive work has to go to create the beautiful sort of um, alternating sequence. Hello from Chicago. So what you have? Jeff, do you do it Leo, this is so fast. Oh my God. Oh, Adam, it's not the Thai consulate. It's the consul residence. So don't come here for your visas. Right, of course. Wow, look at that. Oh, okay. Just this is already so beautiful, and it looked so easy. Hello from Osaka. Right. So you have to do half half of it to be a complete. And then, oh, here's the reveal. Wow. So this is basically repeating what he just showed us over and over again. So you have half the melon. But look at that. That is a... Uh, 
amazing. When you uh, get carving uh -huh. today, and you're gonna show like uh, like this page, some like this, uh huh. You can keep this. And so for one. storage, yes. um, you say you do it today and you want to display it tomorrow. Yes. You have to wrap it in paper towel. Yes, paper towel. The 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 now one. The thick paper the thick towel. Paper towel. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, sheet nam lek noi. And then a little bit of spritz of water so it doesn't dry out. Yeah. Oh, okay. The and then plastic wrap. wrap on top of that. Okay. And then refrigerate. Okay. สำหรับลูกที่โชว์นะไม่ต้องกินนะฮะโอ้ยูมีนไลค์ยูวอนท์โชว์ทิ้งส์ดัตยูคันแอคชวัลลีซิมเพิลทิ้งส์ดัตย
the vegetables go bad faster. So make bias cuts. Okay. Okay, so that's sort of the rough leaf shape. Okay. 45 degree is the knife angle. There you go. And then you do them perpendicular to each other. Wow! Wow, that looks so easy. Right, right. So he's saying that because he's got experience, he can do those curves pretty easily, but that's something you probably struggle with in the beginning is getting the curve. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can print out uh, a template and then draw it out, I guess, on the cucumber before actually carving. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks so quick and easy. Yes, so he said there's a lot of different types of leaves you can do, but this is the easiest one that you can do at home. And then you shape the outside. Yeah, you can make the outside a little bit curved. Oh, you've got a fan. Somebody said, Farm, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're gonna do the edges now of the leaf. Man, that looks, that knife looks so sharp. Right, it's going to be more realistic when you've got these little edges. Wow! So amazing! Then that was so quick! Yeah. So this fruit carving used to be something that uh, people who worked in the royal palace would do. Because, you know... They're like at end time, Oh, so when they retire, they will learn how to do these fruit carvings and then they co go out of the palace and then teach the people who live outside of the palace. Oh. So that's why this art sort of continues to live on is the people who used to work in the palace leave and pass on this knowledge. Right, right. Yeah, that's a lot. A part of, of Thai cuisine is is the beautiful, ornate decoration. The little details that go into what your food looks like. Okay, for keeping the cucumber, don't wash it. Wrap it in, wrap it in a paper towel. Is the paper towel moist or dry? Dry. Dry, okay. Okay, because cucumber, you don't want it wet. You want it to be dry, so you want to wrap it in paper towel. You wash it right before you eat it. Okay, because the... In the refrigerator. Okay, so you don't wash it until ready to serve. Okay. Oh, two days. You can make this two days in advance. Somebody asked if you've ever cut your fingers. Cut? No. Really? You never cut your fingers? Sometimes? Sometimes? <laughs> never never too much blood, he says. <laughs> yes, but you have to be really, really careful. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shall we move to the kitchen and do some cooking? All right. Okay. So we're going to do um, a couple of... So one appetizer and one dessert. So welcome to the inside of the royal residence. Well, not royal residence, the consul general residence. So what he's going to show you today is very hard to find. You will not see this in most Thai restaurants outside of Thailand. I've never even had it. I'm just going to show you first what he's going to um, demo, demo today. We're going to make 
these tiny little bird dumplings. Look how cute. Yes, they are indeed edible. They are little savory dumplings with uh, pork filling. Is it pork? Filling. Pork filling. Um, but I guess you can also do with chicken if you wanted to. And we're also going to demo this dessert, which is called kanom satsai. It is one of my all-time favorite Thai dessert. I will not do it on my show because as you will see, it is flavor intensive, but it's so delicious. And he's gonna show us how to wrap it in this manner. And look at this setup, yay. Oh, by the way, just because it's here. Look at this, look at this little kabocha squash. Yes. That's the, the same pattern, the same triangle pattern that he showed us earlier. And these are the cucumber leaves that he showed us. See? When you make a lot, then you make this really, really nice. And then you, this you would actually eat. This is made for eating. Because this is a, a Thai nam prik ong, which is a, a dipping sauce that you would eat with vegetables. So yes, I know it's too pretty to eat, but it is meant for eating. Not the, the pumpkin you can probably steam and turn into soup after or something. Okay, so now chef's got the hat on. Okay, the chef is going to speak in Thai. Okay, so I will keep translating. So what we've got today, we're going to start with the dumpling. So what we have here, the bird dumpling, the bird dumpling. is the filling. The so filling. ingredients, we've got ground pork, yes, and palm sugar, palm sugar, and the uh, rapa. Which is uh, cilantro roots, garlic, garlic and, and white peppercorns pounded together. It's a base of a lot of different things. Fish sauce. fish sauce, of course. Just, just to show you. Fish sauce, of course. And palm sugar, by the way. We've got products here. Um, special thanks once again to the Thai Trade Center Vancouver who is sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. <laughs> So the palm sugar is actually important because the filling is has to be um, sticky enough to hold together in two little balls. So the palm sugar has that sticky quality. So we've got a little bit of oil in there. You don't wait. Don't have to wait till the pan is hot. And in goes with your garlic, cilantro stems, and white peppercorns. My, yeah, high, you actually don't want high heat for this because this burns very easily. The herbs are chopped really, really fine. Somebody's saying Adam is in the reflection. Ah, because smell this? Yes. So, uh, pork is going in. And you can do, you can do this lean or fatty. Fatty is a little bit... Yes, you can do chicken, but I would do chicken thigh. Because chicken thigh is not as lean. It's got a little bit more flavor. Right, so if you do this and um, the oil, there's too much fat, you can always drain the fat before you put it together. So I'm going to take this opportunity to... Uh, tell a little bit about the story behind hi tell the, a little bit the story behind um this appetizer so this is actually recorded in a poetry that was written by king rama the second many hundreds of years ago and um it was talked about because it, they were talking royal thai cuisine right so it was talked about because it was one of his favorite appetizers. And originally, it didn't start out looking like a bird. Originally, it was... Um, like a dumpling. It yeah, like, like a like, like just regular dumpling that's yes. just round. And then people were started to think like, oh, you know what? This has potential to be formed into more beautiful things. And because it's royal food, they're always looking for things, ways to make it beautiful. So then... Um, and they started shaping it into little bird shapes. And that's how we call it today, uh, bird dumplings or kanom tip nok. So that's a little, a little story there for you. Okay, back to the kitchen. Back to the kitchen. Okay, okay. Enough, enough Thailand talking. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So the palm sugar is going in. You can see the oil. Can yeah. The yeah, you can see quite a bit of uh, pork fat in there. So it's quite a lot of sugar. So this is this is savory, but it is a sweet savory kind of flavor. Because 
เพราะว่าที่ต้องทำรสจัดเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวเราไปอยู่ในแป้งซึ่งแป้งเราจะไม่มีรสชาติ right so there's มันจะ,นจะได้เข้ากันใช่ฮะ yeah so the dough there's gonna be quite a bit of dough um, so the the filling needs to be quite flavorful because otherwise the dough is gonna it's just gonna be bland oh somebody says chef looking cute <laughs> จะแจกอะไรจะแจกอะไรจะแจกของ Yeah well we will um, include a recipe somewhere once I reupload this video again ทีนี้มันก็เริ่มละลายแล้วเราต้องขัดไปเรื่อยไปกลางนะฮะให้มันงวดขึ้นทีนี้พอเสร็จแล้วปุ๊บใส่น้ำปลาลงไป Okay fish sauce So you keep cooking until it's dry. Five to ten minutes only for this amount. Okay, so his special tip is once it's dry, he's going to add a dry a fried shallots, fried garlic, and chopped. Coriander. Chopped coriander or cilantro, yeah. but you don't want to add that now because they'll get soggy. You want to add that at when the at the finish. Okay. Okay. Once it's dry, it's going to heal. Okay. So with the magic of television, we cook that until it's dry, and then what you have is this thick paste here. And you want it to be completely cool to room temperature because otherwise it's not going to be sticky. คุณสามารถที่จะทำไส้ตรงนี้แล้วเก็บใส่ฟรีเซอร์ไว้ได้ Oh you can freeze it and it will last in the fridge for for a few days but you can also freeze it It's like a month you can give it back to use it Okay months like yeah ah, Okay ไส้เลยแหละเสร็จแล้วเรียบร้อยต่อไปนะคะจะเป็นส่วนของแป้งนะคะ Okay so the filling is done now we're gonna make the dough which is really the, the dough, most important the dough the dough นะฮะต่อไปเรามาดูส่วนผสมก่อน Somebody says reminds me of my h a l filling it's similar It's oh okay. It's it's similar idea, but Maho has uh, preserved radish in there. Okay, beautiful brass wok. Yes. Okay, so it's a really good, uh, nice, even heat. Um, it also things don't stick. To a brass wok as much, and it's so beautiful. And I love the shape of a brass wok. It's a really uh, practical shape for cooking dough. There's no corners. It makes stirring really easily. That rounded shape. ต่อไปนะคะเชฟขออนุญาตใส่ไปด้วยนะเชฟพี่ลิงก็อาจจะบานไปด้วยว่าใส่อะไรนะฮะโอเคค่ะลำดับแรกนะครับใส่หางกะทิลงไปก่อนหางกะทิ So this is a coconut milk, but it is a not coconut cream. So it's the thinner. Right there, coconut milk. So when they they say it's a hang kati, we are in different countries, right? Uh huh. Okay. Kati, one cup of water. So this is half uh, coconut milk, half water. Half store bought coconut milk, half water. Go on. Okay. Today, the pan we are using is the pan of wheat. So we've got glutinous rice flour and also, which is the green one. Please do not ever get these two confused. Uh, They do not behave the same at all, and this is a regular rice flour. We're doing a combination of these two. Uh -huh. Chewy. So pan k o n i o the the glutinous rice flour is kind of like a mochi. You know, it's like chewy and satisfying. And then the regular rice flour gives a tenderness. So we mix, and the heat is not on right now. So this is arrowroot starch. Yeah, it's it's a bit hard to find, and here it's actually expensive, but it adds kind of a chewiness. You can you can you can remove it. You don't have to add it. Potato starch. Oh, interesting. Not potato starch. Not potato starch. So not tapioca starch. This is potato starch. Oh, coconut oil. ไม่แห้งเกินไป so for um more tender more tender there we go yes and it'll be easier to knead because it'll be a softer dough นี้นะฮะก็เอามาตั้งตรงนี้ได้เลยคนให้เข้ากันก่อนนะฮะก่อนที่จะตั้งไฟ
Can you use cornstarch instead of arrowroot? No, it's not the same. No. Okay, if you don't have um, arrowroot, you just substitute more of the rice flour, regular rice flour. Okay, if you're getting a lot of lumps, you can um, strain it. Chef <laughs> Chef is so good, we don't need to strain. Straining is for newbies. <laughs> Okay, we're in a rush to eat. Okay, so we're just gonna cook that. You have to stir it all the time, otherwise the flour at the bottom will stick and cook unevenly. So uh, for those of you who are well versed in our in my video library. I have a recipe for garlic chive dumplings or kanom gui chai. Mm -hmm. This is a similar technique where you are par cooking the dough but not taking it all the way because taking it all the way will make it and you, you won't be able to form it into shapes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's cook, it cooks so fast. So you just want it to cook it enough so that it becomes a dough and not a runny batter, but not so much that it's so cooked that you can't shape it. Got it. And then we'll finish cooking it by steaming the dumplings at the end. Okay. So let's suppose, just for time's sake, because we're live here, um, Suppose we keep doing that until it forms into a dough. What you're going to end up with is... Yeah, kind of like a bread dough. Oh, look how soft and easy to work with that is. Okay. So what he did, straight out of the pan while it was still warm, well, oh, you're going to do that right now. Um, he kneaded it with a little extra potato starch um, so that it doesn't stick to your hand. It becomes like a smooth dough. So straight out of the pan, um, once it's not so hot that it's going to burn you, you, you uh, knead it with extra potato starch. Uh -huh. So you knead it until it's cool. Okay. Now we're gonna. Now this is the fun part. We're going to make the bird dumplings. So you need special tweezers. Hold on. Yes. Nap. So special tweezers. I'm just gonna show up close. It has. It's brass as well, and it has these little lines inside, so that when you tweeze, it gives a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you keep that wrapped up so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so that's rice flour that he just dipped his hand in to prevent sticking. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, so as you roll, you're going to sort of feel that coconut oil come out and it's going to be shiny and smooth. Ah, I see. And then you feel a little bit oily on your hand. So that's how you know that it's uh, it's nice and smooth. Okay, got it. Okay, we're going to make bird head. Bird head. Uh -huh. Okay. So you make the bird head first. Okay. Okay, <laughs> So you use your finger to Got it, to make a little crater. So that's where your filling goes. Turn, 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 turn. turn, turn. Okay, so now, oh wow, look at that. 
Uh -huh. So that's a little thick. So you want that to be thin because that's going to get folded over and over again. So you don't want it to be super thick. Oh, it looks like a flower. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll filling my side. Yes, make sure the side is the the filling is is cold. <laughs> oh, you can remove excess dough. Oh, that's great. Yes, because you don't want it to be too doughy. Ah, uh -huh. So you dip the bird butt into the rice flour bowl. Okay, hold on. Sorry for the jerky camera movement. Got it. Okay. So we're going to tweeze now. Okay. Ah, okay. Make sure you jump bang to come. Okay, you dip the tweezer in flour every time. Ah. Yeah. And it's such a pliable, easy to work with dough. ความที่เป็นขนมเครื่องว่างโบราณเนี่ยนะคะเวลานึ่งออกมาแล้วเนี่ยแป้งจะต้องใส่และแลเห็นไส้ข้างในนั่นหมายความว่าคนทําเนี
Lettuce, so this is sort of the accompaniment because the the appetizer is quite you know it's doughy it's heavy we always want to pair it with some nice fresh lettuce uh, cilantro and some chilies for those who want it a little bit spicy okay okay next now is the dessert leo leo king ma king ma chim oh chim 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 yes i do want to eat it okay we're gonna we're gonna eat my favorite part. Okay, I'm gonna um have one little dumpling. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> Very good. Chef Natawat has been pylon approved. <laughs> so the filling is so flavorful. It's a mixture of sweet and salty. Um, not too lean. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Just yes, simple. That's, Sim that's all you need. Delicious. <laughs> ก็เป็นเหมือนกันนะคะเราก็ต้องมีไส้ของมันนะฮะอันดับแรกนะครับใช้พาล์มชูก้าโอเคพาล์มชูก้าและพาล์มชูก้าและพาล์มชูก้า
ถ้าไม่มีกระทะทองเหลืองนี่ก็ใช้กระทะ You can use a Teflon ได้ pan instead if you don't have a brass wok but again the wok I like the shape it makes stirring it quite easy แล้วก็ใส่เกลือตัดความหวานใส่เกลือนิดนึง a little salt always salt in dessert otherwise it will be too too sweet Yeah. Okay, you want to cook this until it's dry, 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 dry. Turn it off. I mean, if you really don't have frozen coconut, somebody's asking if they can use dried coconut instead. You can, but it's not going to be quite the same. Um, but you got to do what you got to do. So then. This is the finished result. It's cool and it's sticky enough that you can form it into. Little lumps. So for those of you who are just tuning in, what we are making are these desserts, right here, wrapped in the coconut, uh, not the coconut, the banana leaves, mm -hmm. and the inside is like this. So what we've just made is the filling that's behind that black ball that you see. So now we're moving on to. ตอนนี้ทำอะไรทำปั้นไส้เป็นกลมกลมปั้นไส้เป็นกลมกลม So now we take the filling and make them round into balls. นี้พอเสร็จแล้วนะคะเราก็จะทำนะคะตัวแป้งมาหุ้มไส้อีกทีหนึ่ง So now we're gonna make that black ball that you see. It's basically a like a like a mochi dough to wrap the filling. To contain the filling, so this is a beautiful thing that Chef actually brought from Thailand. This is black, black sticky rice flour. So black sticky rice, uh, I've used it a couple times on the show. It's this. So this is the flour milled from that, and it's got a flavor similar to to mochi, but it's a, a little bit softer. But it's black, which means it's got uh, its own unique flavor. As well. And then he's gonna mix that with a little bit of white glutinous rice flour. If you don't have the black, you can just use all white. Yeah. Uh, you can add food coloring as well if you only have the white one. Oh, if you have, um, you can make pandan leaf juice and tint it green. Okay, that's just plain room temperature water. Add a little bit at a time. Uh, warm water will make it a little bit. Warm water will make it uh, a little bit easier to knead. Yes, somebody said it looks more mauve. Yes, so the actual color of black glutinous rice is actually a very dark purple. So in rice form, it looks black. But once you start diluting it or cooking it, once you see the real color, it's actually purple. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you want to do it a little bit at a time because if you add too much, it becomes too runny, and then now you have to add more flour and all that stuff. So, at the first time, I thought it wasn't going to work. But after a while, the water we put into it will be soaked. Yeah. So you want to make sure you knead the existing water before you add any more, because sometimes there's some moisture part in the middle of the dough that really needs to be worked out. Um, so don't be too hasty in adding extra water. Oh, nice. Okay. So you knead until it no longer sticks to your hands. Nice. I just love working with glutinous rice flour. It's so easy to work with. It's not like wheat flour, all sticky. So you now um, going to wrap. Yeah, we got little balls. Right. We're gonna wrap the filling in this dough. Uh -huh. Can you use milled rice berry and get the same result? No, because rice berry is not sticky. You really need... Okay, yeah. And if it breaks a little bit, that's okay because we're gonna, as you can see, this dough is so easy to work with that it'll just kind of 
wrap itself around. You want this to be as thin as possible because you don't want it to become doughy. Because you really want the filling to shine, so you don't want it. Okay. Ta -da! Ta -da! That's it. So easy. Now, second fire. This is our second fire. Oh, okay. So theoretically, you don't have to boil first. But this is sort of the traditional way is you boil it first. But you could just like put this in the dessert and just steam it all in one go. But I feel like at this stage, you can already eat these. Like this is probably delicious yeah. already, right? Put a little bit of coconut milk on top. Yeah, you can just put a little coconut milk on top. And I mean, this is really the heart of the dessert. So you're waiting for it to float. Oh, a few seconds. Okay, just to cool it down. Oh, I want to eat that already. Mm. Yeah, because that dough was so thin that we really, it doesn't really need. It's similar to Chinese tang yun right now. Yes, it's the same concept, except the filling is uh, coconut milk. So I have, wow, so nice purple. The glutinous rice layer is not for aesthetic purpose. This is going to add texture as well. Um, and it also makes it easy for the filling to like to compose the dessert but but this is for texture as well so this is the third fire this is the coconut cream that's going to add coconut milk but it's going to add the creaminess in the dessert and if you coconut cream coconut milk just straight up coconut milk Ta-da! Once again. And then rice flour. Add that in. Salt. Again, rice flour is the red one. Regular rice flour. You use the green one for this, it's ruined. Uh -huh. Okay. คือขนมเนี้ยฮะมีมีมีวิวัฒนาการมาจาก uh, okay. yes, 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 yes. So originally this is a dessert that evolved from a simpler dessert where they basically make the filling and then they make this coconut milk and they just spoon the coconut milk over the filling and eat it simply like that. But now because it's royal cuisine, we want to make it more beautiful, more ornate, and people started wrapping it into the cute little packages that you see. This is, Chef is so knowledgeable um, with what do you call it? With the history of Thai desserts that I don't even know. So you would Chef is saying that because he's just kind of estimating for the for the life, this is thicker than it should be. So you want to make it a little bit thinner than this. Okay, so you want it pourable like sauce. So this is too much flour. But let's say that you made it to a pourable consistency. This is the beauty of live streaming. You got one chance. So now this is like the fun part. Co uh, banana leaves, which we find frozen here. So you want to line your tabletop so you don't, you know, put the... So it's clean. So name of this dessert once again is kanom sot sai or kanom sai sai. So you've got two coconut. Uh, I see, keep wanting to call them banana coconut leaves. leaves, banana leaves, cut into two different sizes, and you always want to double up because if these crack, then the stuff leaks. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. 
แต่ว่าที่เมืองน้องไม่มีเราใช้ใบเตยแทนได้ Oh this is pandan leaves แล้วก็เป็นไม้กลัด So this this normally would be actual coconut leaves yeah. but here we use pandan leaves because we don't have coconut leaves here and then little toothpicks to uh, กลัดทาง Pin everything together. Okay. Yes. So you wanna, so you wanna sort of pass the banana leaves through fire. Whoa! Look at that. Because this softens the leaves and prevent it from cracking, and it makes it shiny. It's sort of like the oil in the leaves come out. Ooh. So you've got like a shiny side and a. Oh, dance way off. So you want the shiny side out. Okay. แล้วสมมติว่ากะทิของเราเนี่ยเป็นเหลวๆนะขออภัยคุณผู้ชมที่ดูทางบ้านนะครับ So let's say the coconut milk was a little bit runnier than this. You'd dollop a little bit of the coconut cream on there. เสร็จแล้วปุ๊บวางนะฮะ You put the filling inside. เสร็จแล้วก็ A little bit more cream, cream coconut cream. cream on top. Okay. So now this, I remember learning how to do this in elementary school. Okay. So the bottom should be a rectangular shape if you do this properly. Uh huh. Oh, okay. เป็นแบบนี้นะฮะเสร็จแล้วทำเหมือนกันอีกด้านหนึ่งบนนอกกับมาใช้นิ้วชี้และนิ้วโป้งนะครับประคองไว้เหมือนกัน You push the bottom up ดันขึ้นมา And the second side will go around ทีนี้ยูจะเห็นว่าอันนี้มันจะขัดกันบนตองนี้มันจะขัดกันพอดีเห็นไหมอ่าฮะเป็นแบบนี้ Nice ตูดต้องมีความสี่เหลี่ยมนิดนึงโอเคฮะจ้ะถูกต้องอันนี้อันนี้คือทำสวยงามอันนี้คือทรงสูงโอเคอันนี้คือการห่อทรงสูงน้ำจะมีการห่ออยู่หลายทรงเลยแล้วแต่ขนมใครนะแล้วเอาใบเตยหรือใบมะพร้าวนะคะวางผ้านี้ครึ่งนึงตรงกลางนะครับดึงน้องขึ้นมาปุ๊บแบบนี้นะฮะ together pin with the mic กลับ yes we take our little toothpicks or what we call mic glad not actually toothpicks but you get the idea You don't pick your teeth with these, and then you pin that up. So cute! And it's natural packaging, and then you trim the top to make it a nice little package. Uh, okay. So there's many many types of Thai desserts that use banana leaf as a wrapping, but this type where you've got the little belt in the middle that is unique to Khanom Sot Sai. So when you see a package like this, you know exactly what's inside. Whereas if without this, it could be anything. <laughs> it could be a number of different things. Very nice. Then you'd want to steam that. Steam, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay, to cook everything together. And then suppose we steamed everything and it's all done and look at this, chef made this in advance for all of us. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I really want some. So this is raw baitong before we steamed it. Raw uh, banana leaves before we steamed it, and then it darkened a little bit okay. into like a okay. forest green. Review, okay, da. Oh, nice. Now I see like modern day, some people get lazy and then they do these in like little plastic cups, and it's just not the same, you guys, because the banana leaves actually give flavor as well. It's not just a container. That's easy, but it's man, it's not feeling, man, it's not taste, it's not green. There's no banana leaf smell. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. You see the filling inside and the. But the color is orange. Because in Thailand, the color of the banana leaves is orange. 
Mm. In Thailand, it would be a little darker because the sugar in Thailand, oops, is a little bit darker. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. Sorry, you guys, we're doing this um, using a phone and a gimbal. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, ma. He's saying that Thai people live abroad, miss this so much because it's such a commonplace thing in Thailand. Somebody was asking how much this would sell for. Too cheap, let me tell you. Like one pack, maybe like, I don't know, five baht, ten baht, something like that. Not, not, not enough given like how labor intensive it is. Just sweet enough. The coconut flavor is, is, is intense and the coconut inside is just sweet enough and that chewy dough on the outside. Mm. So good. Okay, now we have met an appetizer. We met a dessert. We met a appetizer. We met a dessert. So this is the full, so what he's talking about in Thailand, the meal is never just one thing. Okay, so we've got some appetizer, some wrap, it's sort of like the, the multi-dish meal. We've got the appetizer, we've got the main dish, we've got the dessert, and of course our rice. A little Thai rice 101, you guys. I have a whole video series for this, but we've got Thai jasmine white rice, which is the best white rice in the world. Fragrant, fluffy, soft, beautiful. For someone who's a little more health conscious, you've got jasmine brown rice, which if you don't like brown rice, try Thai jasmine brown rice. Uh, be now this is what I eat because I have a baby and I want to make sure he's eating healthier. So I cook a lot of Thai uh, Jasmine brown rice. So make sure it's jasmine brown, brown rice, rice from Thailand. Thailand. Okay, that's what you want to look for. And then we've got rice. the healthiest rice, the rice berry, which is the black colored rice, um, which is the healthiest, but it does have its own unique flavor, um, which by the way, is not the same as the black glutinous rice just now that we just used. This is not chewy. It is not a sticky rice. It is a soft, tender, beautiful rice that you can serve with curries, whatnot. You can mix if you, uh, if you want. Like sometimes I do a mix of white and rice berry. And so I want to show you again, our main dish today is this um, ong, which is a northern style pork and tomato dip. I have a recipe for this in my cookbook, by the way, just plugging myself here. And it's served in a beautifully carved kabocha squash cucumber that we have that we have shown you how to do carrot Thai eggplant mini so Thai mini eggplant Thai so cute I've never seen that here some wing beans and these can all be eaten raw mm -hmm. but you could also steam them if you don't like raw vegetables serve everything together okay so this would be an example of a royal Thai cooking platter. Thank you so much, chef. You did such a wonderful job. Every oh my god, Adam has been exposed. Um, do such a <laughs> such a beautiful job, Adam. Do we have any last minute question? We're just got, about to say goodbye here. Yeah, more questions about the chef. Do you have anything online regarding to information about you or? Chef doesn't have a website, but maybe we'll link to some some uh, social whatever yes we'll do that i will i will put chef details in the in the description below so that if you want to follow him on his culinary journey you can do that yes and uh regarding the knives uh someone said what kind of witchcraft is this <laughs> <laughs> i know it's pretty uh, amazing so Oh, so that one he's had from Thailand, <laughs> from his teacher. But he said that you can get it. You can probably find it online. Oh, Chef said you can direct message him and he can give you some, <laughs> some advice. Because mm -mm, he's got his sources. But if you look for fruit carving knives online, you can probably find something. Um, last minute, I will uh, put a recipe for the things that we... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, download this video, uh, edit it a little bit, and then put it up again so that you can re-watch it, and I'll put the recipes and everything in the description as well.
วันนี้เต็มอิ่มมากๆเลยเต็มอิ่มมากๆขอบคุณเชฟมากอร่อยทุกอย่างอร่อย everything was so delicious ขอบคุณมาก it's nice that I'm not cooking วันนี้ต้องขอบคุณที่ด้วยขอบคุณเออสำนักงาน yes thank you once again to Thai Trade Center for sponsoring this video and also the Consul General and the family of Consul General for allowing us to come into this place use the kitchen roam around with my camera for this Special special video. ถ้าใครมีคาถามมาทาอาหารอื่นที่เกี่ยวกับอาหารไทยอย่างเงี้ยก็สามารถที่จะ direct message มาถามได้ Okay, so we'll put chef's social channels in yes. the description once this video goes up again. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. And I will see you. you next time. Bye bye. ขอบคุณครับสวัสดีค่ะ